Hi, Hi guys. guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Seth. And I'm Jose. And I know what you guys are thinking. If you guys are returning subscribers, you guys are probably like, where the heck have you guys been? I know guys, I'm so sorry that we've been MIA, but Jose and I got really sick and we're out for two weeks. And when we finally started to feel better, all we had to do was catch up on exams, assignments, because we are college students and we missed out on two weeks of assignments. Yeah, it was rough, but we're happy to say that we're going to be back filming and posting regularly. And I took it upon myself to film my own day in the life at UTSA like Sam did. And we hope you guys enjoy and make sure to stay tuned because we have very exciting videos coming up. You guys are not ready. You guys are not ready. We love you guys. We love you guys. Hey guys, so I just got to school and now I'm going to head to my first class here at UTSA. I'm going to coaching theory um, and right now uh, I'm actually running a little bit late. I have to park in a parking garage because there's never any parking. As so you guys can see, everything's packed. So um, I just parked. Now I'm going to my next class. I should be there five minutes late. And I don't know what we're doing today, so we'll see. Well, around 10 minutes later, I finally got to my building. Right now it's under construction, so it might not be that pretty, but I promise I'll show you guys once it's done. This is the main building, and this is where I had my first class. And as you can see, it's pretty big. <laughs> Hi guys, so I just got out of my coaching theory class and we did an online quiz uh, with everyone and it's ranked so you can see uh, where you're at and everyone wants to be first place but I ended up getting sixth place, not that bad. I just finished that class, now I am headed to my next class which is exercise physiology but the good thing is that I have an hour break so I'm going to go get something to eat, I'll show you guys and at the end of the day I'm actually going to go pick up some new tail lights for my truck and I'll show you guys that so um, I'll get back to you when it gets more interesting okay so I'll be showing you guys around this is the first thing that we have here on campus this is like the most famous place I'd say this is called the Sombrilla so here we have a fountain with tons of like places to gather all around and this is actually one of the um, places that a lot of people come to during finals here we've got all the organizations and I just want to give a quick shout out to the Hispanic Student Association for waving for the video. Oh, and here's our famous mascot. This is the Roadrunner, and we have a statue of the Roadrunner uh, pretty much in the center of the university. And right there it says, now and forever, I am a Roadrunner. Right on that plaque right here. As you can see, Right now it's actually not too packed, but in the middle of the day later today, I'll show you guys, the, the sombrilla gets completely full. And another thing, this is called a sombrilla because sombrilla is translation for uh, like umbrella. And here there's a lot of shade and the fountain, it's always running, so it's a great place to study and eat. Uh, Firebirds is not here in, inside of there. They have the Starbucks and the Chick-fil-A, but I'll go um, to Firebirds and I'll show you inside. Okay, so to get to Freebirds, I had to go nearby the Student Union, and here we usually have a lot of restaurants, but because there's a lot of construction, we're missing a few of them, but here you can see Panda Express, and if I go down the hallway in the corner, I can get to Freebirds, and if I'm not wrong, they just opened, so I'm excited to try it. Yeah, once you see my food, your mouth is going to be watering. You guys have to get what I got. After having the best meal ever, I went to the food court to show you guys around. Um, this is the food court, the JPL, as you can see, is starting to get full because it's hot outside. On the right, we have a Starbucks, and on the very back, we have a Chick-fil-A and a Subway. Because you have to drive out of the university to go get food, everyone's always here, especially Chick-fil-A. The lines are massive. It takes like 40 minutes for, for you to get food. So I always go to the Rowdy Mart, especially during my hour break, so I don't waste it and I take this time to get a snack. 
since my classes are back-to-back -back right after this. And my favorite snack is a white chocolate macadamia nut cliff bar. And this gets me set for the day. After getting a snack to fuel me for the rest of the day before I get home, I decided to show you guys around at the Student Union. The Student Union is a big hangout spot just like the Sombrilla. And on the inside, they have the student organization offices, the UTSA bookstore, and a whole bunch of activities that people love to come to. Um, the UTSA bookstore, believe it or not, this was the place where I got my first piece of UTSA merch ever. Uh, before I even came to the school, I didn't have anything branded UTSA, and this is where I got my first shirt. Today, they were actually having a poster sale where they were selling humongous posters for, for $5. They always have something random going on, so whenever I have to kill time or I'm bored, I come in here because I'm getting something for free or I get to look at something cool. So it's just one of those places where I get to kill time before my next class. Okay, so I just got out of exercise physiology and I actually have a test this next period, so this next class. So I'm going to head on over to the library to get a quick study session at 15 minutes. So, um, I'm going to study as much as I can. Wish me luck. So I just got out of that class and my test was a little hard. I, I know I passed, I just don't know how good I did. After biomechanics and motor development, this is the path that I have to take back to my garage to go ahead and pay my ticket. At this garage you have to pay a ticket every day you're there per hour. Um, and I thought I'd just show you guys this crosswalk because they have these roadrunner feet and you can see them around campus, they're pretty cool. Hi everyone, so I just got out of school and now I'm going to go pick up those tail lights from the truck. I'm going to show you guys the before and after. Um, how it looks before I install them, how it's after I install them. And, and it should be pretty fun. Okay guys, so you know how I told you I was going to get some tail lights, so I did get them, I already installed them, and I'm about to show you how they look. I'm not going to lie, I actually got ahead of myself and forgot to record a before video, but here's just a shot that I found in my memories of how it used to look, and I'm going to show you the upgrade. Alright guys, so check them out. What do you guys think? Say in the comments, what do you think? Rate them 0 to 10. I really like them. I actually got these because the other ones weren't doing it for me, they weren't that bright. So I got these that are supposed to be a lot brighter and they're blacked out so it matches the truck better. And we're about to see them uh, turned on. Oh yeah. Shoot. Let's, let's see the turn signal. Okay, okay. Yeah, they're too, so bright, I can't even look straight into them. It kinda hurts. I love them. After a long day of school, I'm finally home and I thought it would be a perfect time for me to film an outro for you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video and for all of your support. I know we've been out for two to three weeks, we've been seeing your comments, but we hope that we still have all of your love. Also, I didn't forget, let's do this week's shout out. This week's shout out goes to Pi Amazing. Thank you so much, Pi, for your comments and for your support. Other than that, guys, I really like filming this video. I hope you guys liked it. Please make sure to comment down below what you thought of it. And we'll see you in our next video.